Hi, a very good evening everyone. So today what I'll do, I'll talk about multi-dimensional poverty index which is also called MPI and at times it is also called MDPI, right? So let's understand this in detail. Now 2023, uh, this MDPI or MPI report has been published by UNDP and based on that uh, we, uh, we can have a brief snapshot about poverty across the globe. So we have data about 110 countries and out of that we, uh, we have been told by this report that 1.1 billion out of 6.1 billion people are poor, right? That amounts to roughly around 18% and within that 1.1 billion 534 which is roughly half of the population of 1.1 billion lives in sub-saharan africa means out of 1.1 billion 534 billion lives in sub-saharan africa which is half of the uh, total poor people and 389 million people lives in south asia right so when we also compare with middle income countries and low income countries what we see in nearly two third of the people which amounts to 730 million people lives in middle income country and 387 million which is roughly around one third of all poor, poor, poor people lives in low income country. So this is the brief, brief snapshot of uh, MDPI report 2023 published by UNDP. Now so here what I'll do I'll try to uh, explain the global uh, global MPI or MDPI and also what is the Indian version of MDPI right so when we talk about global version of MDPI or MPI it has got three indicators the first one is health sorry it has got three dimensions first one is health second one is education and third one is living standard so health contributes to one third education contributes one third and living standard contributes one third within that that health dimension we have two indicators and that is nutrition and child mortality so that amounts to two within health in education we have two indicators years of year of schooling and school attendance that is two indicator and in living standards we have six indicators which is cooking fuel sanitation drinking water electricity housing and assets so this is total six so uh, global mpi or mdpi has got three dimensions and 10 indicators now when we take the indian version what india has done niti ayog basically monitors mpi so in india what they have done they have taken the same three dimensions which is health you know health is the first one second one is education and third one is standard of living but within those dimensions the indicators what we have done in health we have three indicators in education we have two the same as global and in standard of living we have seven indicators right so what is the change in health nutrition goes same but when we talk about child mortality in india we are considering child plus adults in mortality we are also adding one more indicator which is maternal health since maternal death is very high in India. Maternal mortality rate is, ratio is very high. In education there is no change. In standard of living what we can see, we can see that you know we have same cooking fuel, sanitation, drinking water, housing, electricity and assets but a seventh indicator has been added which is bank account. So we have in Indian MPI we have three dimensions and 12 indicators in global mpi we have three dimensions and 10 indicators so this is the difference between indian and global mpi now if we understand indian mpi by default we'll also understand global mpi now in health what we have three indicators nutrition child and adolescent mortality and maternal health now how we measure it a household is considered deprived if Let's take nutrition first. Any children in the age group of 5 years, 0 to 5 years, any woman in the age group of 15 to 49 years, and any man in between 15 to 54 years in a house available is found to be undernourished, that house will be considered as deprived. Right? 
as far as second indicated child and adults in mortality, you are going for a survey, any household uh, preceding the survey, within five years, any child or adolescent has died, that house will be considered as deprived. If we talk about maternal health, in maternal health, any household where you have a woman who has given birth to a child of five years preceding the survey, and if she has not received 4 ANC for the recent childbirth or she has not been assisted during delivery by a trained medical personnel, that house will be considered deprived, right? So, uh, and now let's come to education. The first indicator is year of schooling. In year of schooling, you go to a household, any member of the household whose age is 10 years or older has not completed, not a single member has completed uh, a six years of schooling, that house will be considered deprived. When you talk about school attendance, you go to a house, any school age child who is not going to the school or not attending to the school, if for the age in which she is expected to complete class 8 schooling, that, will, that house is also considered deprived. Right? When we talk about standard of living, we have cooking fuel, you go to a house, you find that house is cooking uh, food with the help of dung, crops, shrubs, wood, charcoal and coal, not using LPG gas is considered household deprived. In sanitation, the sanitation facility is not good enough and even if it is there, it is shared by other household, that is that household will be considered deprived. Drinking water, there is no access to safe and improved drinking water supply and the family has to walk down 30 minutes from the home, the round trip, that house will be considered deprived. The, child, the household has no electricity, the house will be deprived. The household is made up of rudimentary materials, the floor is made up of natural material, that house, household will be considered deprived. As far as the asset is concerned, the household is not having more than one of the asset as mentioned. For example, radio, TV, telephone, computer, animal cards, bicycles, motorbike, refrigerator and does not even own a car or a truck. So that household will be considered deprived. Now when you go to household, not any member of the house is having any bank account or any post office account. So all these are the explanation when this household, when any household will be considered deprived. Now as we know the dimension health is one third. When we take about the weight of the different indicators, nutrition we give one sixth, child and adolescent one twelfth and maternal health one twelfth. Schools, the education is one third, so year of schooling is one sixth and school attendance is one sixth. Standard of living is one third. We have seven indicators. So every indicator will be given one by 21 weight, right? Now, the MDPI report by a UNDP in 2023, what we have done, we have uh, compared with India with other countries. So we can see MPI is measured between zero to one. Now, India value of MPI is 0 0.069. When we talk about in percentage, it is 16.4%. The intensity of depri deprivation for India is 42%. Uh, now, if you talk about 16.4% of the population, which is 2,30,000 approximately people are multidimensionally poor. 18.7% is the people who are vulnerable to uh, poverty or multidimensional poverty that amounts to roughly around 263000 people in 2021 the intensity of deprivation is 40% which is the average deprivation score among people living with mdpi now we have compared MP mdpi value with the other countries asian countries like bangladesh pakistan now you have to also consider or count or compare mdpi or mpi value with the income poverty you know uh, uh, monetary poverty now monetary poverty is basically percentage of population living below 2017 purchasing power parity us dollar 2.15 per day so in simple terms it is only dependent upon the money now monetary poverty only tells one part of the story it doesn't tell the the whole story now if you see the headcount that incidence the population uh, which is one which is poor in india is 16.6 percent but when we consider income it is 10 10 only so what happens to 6.4 percentage 6.4 percentage means that individual living above monetary poverty line may also have deprivation 
in health, education and standard of living. In simple term it says that money is not everything. Right? Now, uh, so how to interpret it MDPI or MPI? If the percentage falls between 20 to 33.3%, it means the population is vulnerable to poverty. If it is greater than 33%, it is poverty. If it is greater than 50%, it is severe poverty. The range, as I've already said, it is between zero to plus one. As per, MD, as per uh, 2023 uh, MDPI report, India's uh, MDPI is 0 0.069, which is 16.4% poor population. As per Niti IO, because Niti IO is also monitoring now MDPI, our value is 0 0.066. Now, based on global MPI uh, ranking, India ranks 53 out of 110 countries where from bottom to top, where Niger is at bottom and Serbia is at top. So it's a very important indicator to measure poverty because it covers multi-dimensional. It is not whole and sole dependent on income. Okay. I hope this, this will help you to understand, comprehend MDPI, MDPI in best possible way. Thank you for watching this video. If you like my uh, video, please subscribe my channel and uh, press the bell icon for further notification. Thank you.